our today's topic is biological databases. Now, biology becomes increasingly turned into a data-rich science. So the need for strong and communicating large data sets has grown tremendously. For example, nucleotide and protein sequences, three-dimensional structures from X-ray, crystallography, and NMR, etc. A biological database is a collection of data that is organized so that its contents can easily be assessed, managed, and updated. Biological databases play a fundamental role in bioscience, especially in bioinformatics. They offer scientists the opportunity to assess sequence and uh, structure data for tens of thousands of sequences from broad range of organisms. So biological databases represent an invaluable resource in support of biological research. What are the objectives of biological databases? First is to store, organize, and share data in a structured and searchable manner with the aim to facilitate data retrieval and visualization. Second, to maintain the data uh, in the common formats and to provide web application programming interfaces for computers to exchange and integrate data from various database resources in an automated manner, means availability of biological data in computer-readable form. Next is classification of biological databases. Databases can be classified into three types, primary databases, secondary databases, and composite databases. First, we'll start with the primary database. Primary database consisting of data derived experimentally such as nucleotide, protein sequences, and uh, three-dimensional structures. Examples of primary databases are UniproTKB for protein sequences, GenBank and DDBJ for genome sequences, and Protein Data Bank for protein structures. Then, secondary databases. Secondary databases contains data that are derived from the analysis or treatment of primary data, such as secondary structures, hydrophobicity plots, conserved sequences, uh, signature sequences, and domain uh, stored in secondary domains. Secondary structure database contains detailed information of the PDB entry in an organized way, like structural classification of protein class, fold, superfamily, etc. Most of the secondary database created and hosted by various researchers at their individual laboratories. For example, SCOP, it is developed at Cambridge University, then CATH, CATH, developed at uh, University College of London, then uh, BMCD, developed at NIST, NIST in USA. Third is composite databases. Composite databases merge a variety of different primary database sources, which avoids the need to search multiple resources. Different composite databases use different combinations of primary databases and uh, different criteria in their uh, search algorithm. Right? For example, the nucleotide and protein databases hosted at the National Center for Biotechnology Information, NCBI. It provides OMIM, Online Mendelian Inheritance in Man, an uh, online comprehensive authoritative compendium of human genes and genetic phenotypes. Types of biological databases. Biological databases can be uh, broadly classified into two categories sequence databases and structured databases. Sequence databases contain nucleic acid and protein sequences information and structured databases uh, have three dimensional structures of proteins, nucleic acids and macromolecular complexes. These databases are important tools in assisting scientists to analyze and explain 
a host of uh, biological phenomena from the structure of biomolecules and their interaction to the whole metabolism of organisms and also to understand the evolution of species. Sequences and structures are only among the several different types of data required in the practice of the modern biology. Other important data types include metabolic pathways, network and uh, molecular interactions, mutations and polymorphism in molecular sequences and structures, as well as organelle structure and tissue types, genetic maps, physiochemical data, gene and mRNA expression profiles, two-dimensional gel electrophoresis images of protein expression. Primary sequence repositories. First is primary nucleotide sequence databases. Primary nucleotide sequence databases. Here, there are three nucleotide repositories or uh, primary databases for the submission of nucleotide and uh, gene sequences. These three are NCBI, GenBank uh, USA, EMBL, EBI, ENA, European Nucleotide Archive. Then third is DNA Data Bank of Japan, DDBJ. The entries in the GenBank, EMBL and DDBJ databases are synchronized on a daily basis and the accession numbers are managed in a consistent manner between these three centers, uh, NCBI, EMBL, EBI and uh, DNA Data Bank of Japan, right? They include sequences submitted directly by scientists and genome sequencing group and sequences taken from literature and uh, patents. Next is primary protein sequence databases. Primary protein sequence databases include PIR, PST, PIR protein information resource. PIR, PST uh, is at National Biomedical Research Foundation. Then Swiss Prot at Swiss Institute of Bioinformatics, Switzerland. One of the most significant developments with regard to protein sequence databases is the merge of PIR PST Swiss Prot TREMBL uh, databases into a single resource that is Uniprote. The mission of Uniprote is to provide the scientific community with a comprehensive, high quality, and freely accessible resource of protein sequence and functional information. Swiss Prot is a curative protein sequence databases which try to provide a high level of annotation uh, such as description of, um, of the function of a protein, its domains, structure, post-translational modifications, variant, etc. with minimal level of uh, redundancy and high level of integration with other databases. Next is secondary sequence repositories. A secondary database contains derived information from the analysis or treatment of primary databases such as GenBank or EMBL. Some examples of the databases that contain subsets of the EMBL and GenBank databases are number one, the nucleotide database. It's a collection of sequences from several resources, including GenBank, RevSec, TPA, and PDB. Then, Unigene. To process the GenBank sequence data into a non uh, redundant set of gene oriented clusters. Then, Entrance Gene. It supplies gene specific connections in the nexus of map, sequence, expression structure, function, citation, and homology data, which integrates information from a wide range of species. 
then EST database. It's a collection of short single read transcript sequences from GenBank, which provides a resource to evaluate gene expression, find potential variation, and annotate genes. Right? Then, ensemble. E-N-S-E-M-B-L. It's a joint project between E-M-B-L, E-B-I, and the Wellcome Trust Sanger Institute, W-T-S-I, for automatic annotation of eukaryotic genomes. Then, DFM, D-F-M. It's a collection of repetitive DNA element sequence alignments, hidden Markov models, and matches lists or a list for complete eukaryote genomes. Then ECR base. It offers evolutionary conserved reasons, promoters and transcription factors, binding site in the body blood genomes. Then CUTG. A comprehensive database for codon uses for each full length protein gene. Next is RefSec. It provides a comprehensive integrated, non-redundant, well annotated set of sequences. Next is DBSNP. DBSNP is a database for single nucleotide polymorphisms, microsatellites, and small scale insertions and deletions. Then, MacBank, a DNA methylome programming database, integrates the genome wide single base nucleotide methylomes of gametes. And the last is secondary or derived protein sequence databases. Drive protein sequence databases include ProCyte, P-R-O-S-I-T-E. It's a database of protein domains, families, and functional sites. Then PFAM, P-F-A-M. It's a large collection of cur um, curated protein families, each represented by multiple sequence alignments and hidden Markov models. Next is PRIDE. PRIDE. It's a database of protein and peptide identifications that have been described in the scientific literature, included um, post translational modifications and spotting spectral evidence. Then, Interpro. It's a database that provides functional analysis of protein sequences by classifying them into families and uh, predicting the presence of domains and important sites. And the last is PRINTS, P R I N T S. Uh, it's a compendium of protein fingerprints, provides both a detailed annotation resource for protein families and a diagnostic tool for newly determined sequences. Uh, this is all about biological databases. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe for more. Thank you.